Why do some people seem to hold on to grudges years, even decades later? Today, we're going to talk about letting go. I am going to my high school reunion this year. You have to. <laughs> I, a few years ago, I went to my 20th and it was a laugh out ride. Oh my gosh. Well, I really am excited to go, except for the fact that there's this Facebook group where some people are still airing their grievances because they're hurt over things that happened years and years ago in high school. Well, and if they think that harboring these resentments are going to allow this to be an enjoyable event, I have news for them. <laughs> yes. It certainly isn't. That's why we wanted to talk today about how to let go of those past hurt feelings. The first point we want to make is that you can forgive someone without them having to apologize. Yeah, you know, I think for the most part, people want to go through uh, their time here on Earth as good people doing the right thing and trying not to hurt those around them. However, upon doing what you need to do to survive and go about your business, uh, inadvertently, some people are going to be offended and to get uh, mad at those people for hurting you when they're just going about their thing is like yelling at a dog because he didn't do the dishes. <laughs> yeah. We should teach him how though. Just give him some dish I, gloves and... That's what I'm doing after. Yeah. yeah. To move past through some of these feelings, the first step you can take is to journal. Write all of this down. Sometimes that lifts the emotional weight and a lot of times you will realize it's not as big of a deal as you thought it was. Well, point two of this is going to be that holding on to these feelings only hurts yourself. The other person probably has absolutely no idea that you're harboring these hard feelings, so they can't help you move forward. You have to take responsibility and move forward yourself. So if you've done the writing exercise and time had still passed, and you are still holding on to some of these feelings, perhaps it's time to get your closure by letting the person who have affected you in such a way know how you feel. That brings us to our third and final point, which is that sometimes it's as simple as recategorizing the person from a friend to an acquaintance. By recategorizing them as an acquaintance, you're taking a lot of the emotions and enlightening them. Uh, the, the emotions that you will carry for a friend is going to be much heavier. Remind yourself what you like about this person and keep the conversations and interactions light and more surface level. That way you are not putting all the weight on this person to take care of you emotionally. So to recap, our first point is that you can forgive someone without them having to apologize. Our second point is that holding on to those past feelings is really only hurting you. And our third point is that sometimes you need to simply recategorize that person from a friend to an acquaintance if necessary. Have you been holding on to any kind of weird past grudges? Tell us about it in the comments below. Well, it'd certainly be a real shame for you to miss your reunion because of everyone else's crazy drama going on. Oh, I'm definitely not gonna miss it. I'm on party and show off my dance moves. Gotcha. <laughs> if you enjoyed this video, subscribe below. I'm Erin. And I'm Johnny. See you next time. See you guys. First time to do the dishes. Yeah, get on it.